And we are joined now by Stuart Walton. He is the co-founder of the Runway Group in Arkansas. Uh, Stuart and his family are hosting this year's Heartland Summit. Uh, Summit. Thanks for joining us. Good morning to you. So first, the message of this year's event is meet in the middle to try to bring attention to what's going on in middle, middle America. So what is going on in middle America? What is going on in middle America? Well, what's going on in Bentonville is the Heartland Summit, and we're really excited to have uh, leaders from all over the country, from all over uh, the, the region, but also uh, we've got folks from the coast as well. And we're just here talking about trying to drive development, trying to drive better policy, and trying to drive economic and regional growth, both in the Northwest Arkansas region, but also across the Heartland more broadly. And you know what's really exciting is this is the second Heartland Summit we've had. The first one is in 2018. And the timing for this summit actually couldn't be better. I'd argue that we might have been a little ahead of our time in 2018. But with COVID, the remote work, and now being back in person, uh, those kind of three things are making this summit feel like the perfect time to be talking about a resurgence in the Heartland. It's the middle of our country. It connects the coast. You can't have a strong country without a strong heart and we're really trying to drive that forward here. Do you feel that the heartland's been overlooked? I think there's no question that it has. If you get out and visit some of these towns, uh, it's almost impossible to not come to that conclusion. The great news is that there's a lot of bright spots and more emerging all the time. You have cities like Des Moines, Iowa, Chattanooga, Tennessee, right here in northwest Arkansas that are really starting to come into their own. They're having their own identity, their own cultural uh, kind of renaissance in a way and they're showing other cities and communities in the heartland uh, that it's possible to thrive and grow and be really prosperous and provide opportunity to everybody that lives there but also to people who are considering moving there from uh, from afar. Definitely uh, puts a spotlight on it. How has your family's history of philanthropy helped shape the work you're doing today? You know I think there's a I would actually argue that our, our history of entrepreneurialism is shaping the work as much as our history of philanthropy and you know in any community right you have to have multiple legs to stand on you can't just if you just have philanthropy the re the community will not be successful you have to have philanthropy you have to have business you have to have you know good governance and good political advocacy and successful policy all coming together to work and I think what we're starting to see really in, in Bentonville, and I think what the key ingredient for success is in the heartland and for these heartland communities, is you've got to get the government policy right, you've got to get the philanthropic reinvestment in the communities going in the right direction, and you've got to have like sustainable businesses, because without that, you don't have good jobs, and without that, people will leave, and without when people start to leave, it just creates a really difficult sort of negative spiral that becomes very difficult to break. All right. Well, uh, best of luck on the summit. Uh, great, to, great to hear about it. Stuart Walton, thank you. Thank you, Ruta Bay. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.